up YouTube welcome back in another video today I'm gonna show you how I bury coax cable any type of cable you want to run inside PVC so I'm gonna be running the PVC conduit with the cable inside so I'm gonna try to make this quick cuz uh, it's raining and so this is the conduit Yeah, I don't have a caddy because I don't like to carry that shit around my truck, man. It takes a lot of space. Damn, goddamn fucking rain. It rains so fucking much out here in Houston, man. It's fucking ridiculous, man. Like yeah, so this conduit has a string in it. So you can fish whatever you pulling through the conduit. Uh, it makes it a lot easier, but I mean, you don't need it. I don't use it unless if it's you know super long. But I never use the string anyway. So that cable, that's an RG11. It's only about. It's about 50 feet from here to there, so we don't need this cable, so um, that's gonna have to get removed. Yeah, so we're going about about six to eight inches deep here. So, I mean, what you want to do is just slam it to the ground, go back and forward, make sure you get a nice open trench so it makes it a lot easier. So, when you come down and lay that conduit, you can just push it through. You'll see what I'm talking about right now. Whenever I lay the conduit in the trench, so yeah, so what you want to do is uh, just get a nice trench. You know, you don't want to go straight through the middle of the yard. You know, that's not how you bury these cables. You want to make a straight line, straight down to the fence, all the way down to Eastman. So the Eastman's about five feet off the fence. So you want to keep it in the five feet range within the Eastman and inside the fence. So and like I said, just keep it in the Eastman, go straight to the fence, you know, never bury the cable going across through the middle of the yard, you know, you just don't do the type of stuff. so you can get that nice curve so whenever you push it it comes right up through the pedestal and you can see this pedestal is all fucked up There's a conduit right there. So what you want to do is uh, just push it all the way down. And as you're going forward, you want to keep your right foot behind. So that way, you know, it's not going to come right up. You just push it with your fingers. Make sure it's all the way down there, see?
Yeah, just you can feel it whenever it goes all the way down there. You see that? That's why I was saying earlier, whenever you do the trench, make sure you go back and forward, wiggle it around, so you can have a nice open trench. So whenever you come and lay down your your conduit or your cable, whatever you're bearing, it makes it a lot easier. You can just walk the trench while pushing the the cable. about at least three times so you can get that trench line nicely all closed up nicely Go ahead and push it through the conduit that I just laid. Whenever it starts getting hard, then that means that it's about to come out because it's right out at the curve at that 90 over there. So there you go. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, so today, um, uh, I forgot, well, actually my battery to the drill, it went dead this morning, so now, now I gotta do this by hand. Yeah, I'm doing it by hand, so it's not that bad. Yeah, you can use the same hose where the old ones are, but since this is not concrete or brick, you can just do it anywhere. Okay, so. Now we're gonna remove this old RG11. Let's move it out of the way. So now I'm gonna make my connector. I'm gonna do an F connector. Okay. We got everything we need here. Got the stripper, so. RG6 feeding slider right through there. <laughs> so 
nice and clean. Clamp it down. And then I'm gonna push it a little bit. Pull it out. Grab a torque wrench. Do about right there. Alright, so I'm gonna take my picture here, showing this complete on this side. Okay, now let's go. Let's go over at the ground, the uh, the tap. Pretty much the same thing as I did over there on that side at the ground block. So. bag over here okay grab a stripper RG6 feeding. Make sure it goes there on there straight, not over the conductor. It's nice and clean right there. Just grab your crimpers and uh, crimp down. And again, just make sure that needle's right in the middle and just going straight in the center. Just grab your torque wrench. Make sure as you close, you don't want to bend one of these cables. Make sure it goes in nice and straight. Right there. All right. Now, so that is it. Let's go ahead and pick up our trash. You want to get this all rolled up nice. You don't want to have a mess in the back of your truck. All kind of wires sticking out and just look nasty. So just keep it, keep it clean. All right, so that's how you bury the PVC conduit with the RG, RG6 inside of it. Yeah, man, you can see how clean everything looks. And like I was saying earlier, try to do it straight down the fence and straight along the east, man. Never go across through the middle of the yard or otherwise they're going to call you back to do it again for free. So, um, yeah, we're all done here. No. Yep. Yeah. Customer left me some water and uh, some fruit, man. It's very nice. You know, that's what happens when you do good work. Yeah, always make sure that the customer's not home. Yeah, you know, just make sure you always 
lock, secure the gate, make sure it's closed because um, it can have dogs or anything. You know, what I like to do, what I like to do is just uh, take a picture of that, showing that I have proof that I did close that gate. You know, you can let, let the sub know that you're done or, you know, just make sure that the service is active before you leave. Always before you, you know, before you take off to your next job, just make sure that the customer has service. Make sure that they're active. So right now we're going through PHT, it's loading. Let's see, and yeah. If you got any questions, go ahead and let me know. Put it down in the comments. If you wanna go ahead and send me a, a DM through Instagram, it's um, route stage two, or you can, you know contact me directly through my email the missile guy at gmail.com all right so yeah like i said just let me know what type of videos you want to see you know um, i got some more videos coming on the way so probably gonna do um how to go underneath a sidewalk how to bury cables through gravel rocks stones yeah, like i said just let me know and uh if you're into cars go ahead and check out my other youtube channel I do a bunch of car content it's um my youtube channel for that is clay's car videos you know like i said i do a bunch of car videos so if, you, if you're into cars go ahead and check that out subscribe and check me out all right man see y'all in the next one thanks for watching